Polo drivers and aspiring owners, please gather here and register your presence by smashing the like button. So in today's one, we're not going to waste your time. So this is a 2023 Polo R-Line 1 liter TSI with a 7-speed gearbox that produces 85 kilowatts of power so quite impressive so right now you are looking at this front end you can see it has got led headlamps and also your fog lamps and then also you've got some sensors as well in the front so best price for this vehicle it's 456,800. and you know with these german vehicles the moment you start adding up extras you also pay for them like in this particular one it has got these LED matrix IQ headlamps, which means that you will pay an extra 16,400 for those. And then this particular vehicle, it is riding on these Bagamo 17 inch alloy wheels. And uh, they come also with these 17 inch uh, continental tires, which is a good thing because obviously if you're driving uh, the Polo R-Line, you also want a reputable brand in terms of uh, the tires. So that is not a standard, it's an optional. So you hear you pay an extra 5,100 for those. So yeah, guys, remember if you're buying uh, this German, you really have to have a strong pocket. And then uh, looking at uh, the view mirror, you can see there it has got an integrated uh, 10 signal, uh, which is also cool. Anyways, uh, with most of these vehicles nowadays, they have all those. So as usual, we are going to do our normal walk around, just uh, showing you the vehicle, how uh, overall it looks. And then we're also going to jump inside as well, just to see how the interior also feels so in my own opinion i think uh, this is uh, quite nice uh, i really think uh, between the polo and uh, the golf uh, personally i would go for the polo i think uh, it is a quite uh, small and compact vehicle and it will do the job uh, and also considering that i think these polos they have uh, sort of like grown in terms of size uh, compared to the first first generations uh, polos so here at the back you can see the design as well it is a uh, very simplistic and nice straight to the point i like how those uh, lights integrate with uh, the body of the vehicle and these are led as well so also you know that you are definitely getting a premium uh, product and then maybe on the downside uh, this one it doesn't have a toy hitch so if you want maybe to pull a trailer or something like that you might have to uh, an aftermarket one uh, fitted and then you can see as well there you've got some sensors and then at the bottom you've got uh, your exhaust uh, i'm not sure if it is actually real or it is one of those uh, fake ones you know the ones that they just you know put there as a decoration but overall uh just looking from the back it is a uh, quite a nice vehicle and then moving on again to the side of the vehicle uh it is okay i really like these wheels they really make uh, this um polo uh, really look nice and then you can see also that a uh, roof uh, spoiler it is a uh, nice especially that black finishing and then on top there you can see uh your aerial and then you also get that uh, sliding uh, sunroof as well. So this is also not a standard or a thing. So if you want that, you also need to uh, pay an extra. So that one, it will cost you 15,400. And then uh, moving this side, you can see there, you've got your R logo there to remind you that you're driving the R design. So yeah, uh, the exterior of the vehicle overall, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. I think they really did a good job. And then when you open the vehicle, this is what you will be greeted with. On your door panel, you can see your handle there. And then all windows, they are operated electronically, which means that, uh, that this will be convenient for you, obviously. And then you can see your mirrors, you can adjust them from there. And then your door you can lock and unlock it from there and also this vehicle it has central locking so the moment you start uh, driving all those they will actually lock you don't have to manually lock them and then at the bottom there you can see you've got a uh, storage uh, space for your water bottle or your drink and then you've got uh, that speaker there uh, which is also cool so if you are a party person if you like loud music you won't be disappointed on this one and then there you see your r logo and then also you get these black mats uh, down there and then also you get uh, these uh, uh, seats so these are not leather seats these are actually uh, cloth uh, seats 
so as you can see there you can see with your r logo on these uh, gray seats quite nice as well so the other down thing uh, the downside that i also noticed is everything is sort of like a manual there so for you to adjust that's how you adjust uh, the seat from there and then if you want to move it forward or backwards you pull that lever and then you can do so and then there you can see so for those of you maybe ama 2000 if you don't know how to adjust using that uh, definitely you'll have maybe to search on youtube anyways there that's where you switch on your lights quite convenient it's easy to operate and then you've got your air vents there then you can obviously control your flow of uh, air and then uh, you can see there you've got your steering wheel uh, with an airbag and one in the middle and then on the right side you can see you've got your controls there if you want to skip in between songs you can do as such and then this side you can set your cruise control you can cancel it as well which is also good you've got the r logo on the steering wheel and then this is your instrument cluster unfortunately i didn't have uh, the keys to this vehicle so yeah uh, this is the left side you can see you've got your temperature gauge and then on the right side you've got your fuel gauge uh, and then also on the steering wheel you've got uh, these pedal shifters uh, which is also a cool touch and then this is your infotainment screen right for you to switch it on you simply push uh, that uh, knob there and then it will say to you welcome to vw obviously and then you get uh, that r logo as well and then right now it's on fm uh it is quite uh, easy to use this radio to increase or decrease that's the knob that you use and then you can see the uh, passenger airbag and then that is your hazard uh, button as well and then this side you can press on menu this is what you will see when you do that and then the sound you can move in between and then your media then you can also select a voice and then it will say function is unavailable so everything is quite a simplistic and then when you press the card button there this is what you will see and then down there you can see your air vents obviously you can uh, select uh, or you can shift to whatever a direction flow that you want and then at the bottom you've got uh, climate controls right uh, so everything it is uh, really nice i really like this finishing in this vehicle and then down there at the bottom you get uh, these type c usb charging ports and then also that uh, charging point as well and then this is your gear selector where you can select you know from your park to drive or to reverse depending on whatever i want to do quite nice and then you've got your 12 volt cigarette lighter and then you also get those uh, cup holders but i must say guys uh, those are quite small so if you've got a pickup you might um not really use them and then you've got extra storage space also not so big you only maybe put in like a little things there and then there uh police support the lighting but that is your glove compartment if you put want to put documents and stuff like that you can do as such and then there you can see you also have got uh, that speaker and also there's an airbag there for extra protection and then that is your sun visor obviously for your passenger with the mirror inside so if they want to do makeup and stuff like that they can so long do that and then to operate your panoramic sunroof those are your controls and then also your lighting as well and then this is for you the driver your sun visor and also there is a mirror there so yeah this vehicle it is uh, quite uh, loaded so yeah in today's video guys we trying to show you almost each and everything that is in this vehicle and then that is your seat belt there unfortunately uh, some of the shots they are not are very clear overall i think i really covered almost everything in this uh, vehicle like from the front side so right now we're gonna just uh, jump to the back side and see how the other passengers will be seated so when you open as well this is what you will see obviously you've got your handle there and then you've got your storage uh, compartment and then you the window is electronically operated and then you've got a speaker as well so which is also a good thing and then this one you've got your or lever to open the door and as well you also get these gray seats at the back which are quite comfortable and then you also get isofix points and then at the back you also get these uh, type c charging ports so should your passengers run out of battery they won't really be bored they simply connect there and then those are your isofix points so if you're carrying a baby around or if you want to do so you can do so and then uh there you also have got those 
uh, seat belts as well because uh, you know what uh, when you're on the road you also want to be safe so pretty much that's the back uh, there isn't uh, much in terms of uh, leg room because at the end of the day this is a small hatchback and then at the boot uh, this is how you open the boot for those of you who didn't uh, know and then uh, you can see there is your boot you've got enough space uh, normally these vehicles um what is your uh, startup vehicles or like with like maybe a family of just like husband and wife so in terms of fitting your groceries and bags and stuff like that you know you are sorted and then at the bottom there you get your spare wheel and the accessories obviously for you to change the spare wheel which is also a good thing so just before we end this video we spoke about the best price and the options that are on this particular car so if you combine the two you'll be buying it for 493,700 and if you're looking to finance that's roughly 9,300 but also bear in mind that when financing in vehicle that will depend on your credit score and the interest that you actually get from the bank if you've made it this far please like this video share it with family and friends if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe